Oh, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Look at that. Just got into the Epcot parking lot. Got a, we got people parking all the way at the end. You know, it's gonna be a good time. What is up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Vincent Vision. Thank you all for joining me. It's trying something new. Today, I am here at the Epcot Center, the experimental prototype city of tomorrow. It is currently August 12th, which is one day earlier than when the universe of energy is going to close and the brand new mission space is supposed to open up. Not the brand new mission space, like the refurbed, like redone HD mission space. But as of yesterday, they have soft opened the brand new mission space. I actually really like mission space. It's one of my favorite rides in Epcot for some reason. So I want to go ahead and check it out now and get you guys on it with me. This is where I parked my car, Create 47. This is mostly for me so I don't forget. Put my magic band on. Bag check is looking pretty full. Cool. Note to self, don't come to Epcot at 4.40 p.m. The beautiful Epcot Center. So I got pulled aside by security about that five second bag check clip that I made because they thought it might have been suspicious so I had to show them. I almost got kicked out of Disney World to show you guys what bag check looks like. <laughs> Something I had wanted to do in my last video when I came to Epcot that I didn't get to do because I was here a little bit late was show you guys Interventions and sort of the condition that it's in now. This is all they have left of Interventions is Colortopia. Soon Interventions will be gone and even Colortopia will just be a memory. But kind of like what I said in my last video, I'm okay with them getting rid of Interventions. I'm okay with them completely rehauling all of Future World because the new D23 plans look awesome. Well, I'll be damned. It's uh, sort of, but not really, a line for Ellen's energy adventure. All these people in line to ride Ellen <laughs> one last time. <laughs> They're gonna ride Ellen. These people are all gonna ride Ellen one last time. <laughs> I have not come to, uh, I have not come to Epcot today to mourn the universe of energy. I'll probably do that tomorrow. No, 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 no. Today I have come to take on a new horizon, to go on a mission, a mission called space. I'm exploring the courtyard of Mission Space, which is something I've never really done before. And I love all these quotes that they have here. One that's cool that I don't think a lot of people notice is this one right over here. This plaque was flown into space aboard the shuttle Atlantis. To all who follow their dreams, to infinity and beyond. So when a ride comes back from a refurb, I'm always really, really interested to see how they've changed it. If they've done any major changes in the queue and things like that, apart from just renovating the ride. And from what I can see, pretty much everything looks the same. Something that used to work was this really cool rotating wheel, which used to be all lit up nice and bright, and you could see all the different rooms inside the space station. But now, they're just dark rooms. Maybe it's not ready yet. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. You're here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Still smells like motor oil. Oh, I bumped into the guy in front of me. When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit. They're all yours, Captain. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. Now right. 
Alert. Location. Canyon Edge. Don't move a muscle. Yeah, hey, we did welcome it. Welcome to Mars, and welcome to the Astronaut Corps. <laughs> so it just came off Mission Space 2. Woo! That was good. That was good. It's still the same old Mission Space, which I like, but like they updated the screen, so the screens are super, super HD now, which is really, really cool. But, I mean, for the most part, the entire ride is virtually the same, even down to the pre-show. All they did was swap out Gary Sinise with somebody else. The chick from Firefly, but she's cool because she's really badass in Firefly. She was cool, but it's just like, they didn't really change anything in the pre-show, but I mean, hey, it's not broken. Don't try to fix it, right? I was gonna try and hop right on to Green Mission afterwards, but like, I hadn't been on Mission Space in a long time, and I actually got a little kind of sick. So I'm gonna walk it off and come back. After riding Mission Space, I need to get a little refreshment. Oh, oh, we're good to go. That was rude of me. I'm sorry. So I was walking back to Mission Space, and this is now the line for the universe of energy. I asked one of the cast members, and they said it was about a 25 minute wait, which is crazy for this ride. That's insane. But the first time in your life, you are gonna have to ride the universe of energy and actually have to sit next to somebody and not just have an entire row to yourself. <laughs> okay, so second thought, I was going to Mission Space to ride the green one, but it has a 20 minute wait, and <laughs> I know that sounds really dumb, but I don't wanna wait 20 minutes for the green side right now. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm gonna head into the World Showcase and get some food at my favorite place to get food in the World Showcase. I always get the curry rice from Katsua Grill in Japan when I come to Epcot. It's super, super affordable. It's super, super good. And today, I've got a pretty good view. All right, so I had my little lunch break. I've got a Japanese soda to go. I'm gonna head back to Future World, go ride the green side, and get the hell out of here because it's starting to rain here at Epcot. And if there's one thing I don't like, it's rain. Let's go. You have selected green tea, less intense training. However, if you are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators, you may exit the flight training area now. I'm really scared. Passing over the Himalayas, you should have a gorgeous night view of India. You should be seeing Greece and Italy. And up ahead, Paris, the city of life. Navigator, initiate descent. Now. Focus fire. We lost our pilot. Commander, activate manual control. Now. Left. Back to center. Hold steady. So I just got off of the green mission and honestly I'm pleasantly surprised. I had never done the green mission before and I didn't know that it actually moved like that. I had kind of thought that it just stayed in place and you watched a movie and but it actually moves around and I think it actually tilts upwards like the orange mission so it was pretty cool. I think the only thing I didn't like about the green mission was that it was kind of boring. All that happens on the ride is that you fly over the entire world. You soar over the entire world. We don't have any rides in this park that have you soar around the world like that. There's no rides, other rides like that in the park. I think just because it's a less intense ride, that doesn't mean riders should get a less intense experience, a less engaging experience, because it's really kind of just like, Soren is right across the street and it's a much more engaging experience. So I'm humid, I'm sweaty, 
It's raining. I'm covered in my own sweat and rain. I look like a crazy person, but I did it. <laughs> I rode the brand new Mission Space before everybody else. Felt pretty cool to do something cool and exclusive like that. Oh my god, I look terrible. Thank you guys for watching Vince and Vision. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for a hundred subscribers. That is super crazy to me. I'm gonna make more of these videos, I promise. But thank you guys for watching. Until then, I'll see you when I see ya. I'm still coming up with catchphrases. I haven't come up with anything official yet, but I'm just working on it. I'm just workshopping it. So um, I'll see you around. Here's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. Dirty pop!